Imagine getting your new shiny addressable RGB fans, installing them, just to realize your motherboard has no 3-pin RGB header. And this is where the Deepcool RGB converter jumps in. It will connect to your 4-pin RGB header on your motherboard, take the ordinary 12V RGB signal and convert it to a digital 5V signal for a 3-pin plug. This will feed your addressable RGB components. So let's break that down step by step. The classic 4-pin header you find on pretty much every mainboard these days has a 12V GRMB pinout. It's a relatively dumb connector that basically just transmits information for color and brightness. This signal feeds the deep cool device. To do its magic, it would also need to be connected to your power supply via SATA. With those two inputs, the little converter does its thing and puts out a digital signal for addressable RGB hardware. Now keep in mind that addressable RGB is capable of much more than just displaying a certain color. There is a pretty much endless amount of fancy effects you could possibly do, but as the Deepcool RGB converter is only fed with a dumb analog signal, you won't get to enjoy those sweet scroll and blinking effects. If you can't live without them, you will need to get a dedicated addressable RGB controller or a mainboard with an addressable RGB header. The Deepcool converter won't suit your needs then. However, the converter is perfectly suitable if you only want to make your RGB hardware shine in one color. Color changing effects are possible as well, but every component can only display a single color at the same time. With analog RGBs, there is no way to make, let's say, your fan shine half blue and half red at the same time. So the Deepco converter can't do that either. Also, keep in mind that some effects might not be as smooth when using the converter. Some people are reporting slight brightness jumps with breathing effects, so I could not replicate that using ASUS AuraSync and Deepcool RGB components. Installing the device is pretty straightforward. It has a magnet installed at the bottom that easily snaps onto your case. The most complicated thing is finding the correct ports. Looking straight onto the GamerStorm logo, the port at the bottom is reserved for the included cable, one end of which goes into the 4-pin header of your motherboard, while the SATA plug goes into your power supply. So this is where the converter gets its power and signal from. Now the two ports on the left and the one at the top of the device are for your addressable RGB hardware. The top one is compatible with Deepcool or GamerStorm plugs. The upper port on the left follows ASUS, MSI and SROX common standard, while the lower one is for gigabyte compatible RGB components. Those three headers should cover most RGB components on the market apart from proprietary connectors like those from Corsa products. The two ports on the right side basically function as a hub or splitter that lets you connect two additional non-addressable, hence analog RGB components. That way the Deepcool converter doesn't block your mainboard's 12V header but doubles it instead. Once you've plugged everything in, the configuration of your RGB glory is done on your mainboard's RGB software like ASUS AuraSync, MSI Mystic Light or Gigabyte's RGB Fusion. The converter is treated as a regular non-addressable RGB component. Every setting that is applied to the converter will be passed to every component that is connected to the little Deepcool box with no option of controlling those components individually. Keep in mind that the conversion might not be 100% accurate for every given color and brightness value. In my experience, turning the brightness down in particular will require a bit more fine tuning of the color values to visually match the RGB colors to the components that are not connected through the converter box. That said, I'm very pleased with this little Deepcool converter. As far as I know, this is the only device currently available that converts the old analog RGB output to a digital signal. At about 15 to 20 euros or dollars US, it's pretty affordable as well. So unsurprisingly, it's often out of stock. I hope you found this video useful. Consider to subscribe and thanks for watching.